Hey ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to this channel once again. My name is Afis and I'm your Power BI trainer. In this video, what we want to go through is we want to introduce ourselves to the Power BI service. So basically, inside the Power BI service, we'll be looking at how to actually generate the link, which is going to be a URL that you can actually share with people on social media pages, through email, and they will be able to view your Power BI reports. Once they are able to view it, they can interact with it, they can ask questions about this, your report. And um, we'll also be looking at how to generate PDF files, how to generate PowerPoint files from your Power BI report. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. First of all, what you need to ensure you do is you need to be signed in. If you are not signed in, you won't be able to publish to Power BI service. Because Power BI service is that place you'll be able to share your report. So if you're not share, if you're not um signed in, you won't be able to share, you won't be able to go to Power BI service. So if you don't have a work email, you may not be able to sign in. I have a video which you can see in the description below that describe how to generate a work email for yourself so that you can use Power BI service. So you should check it out and watch. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue. So once you have signed in, what you need to do now is to publish your work to Power BI service. So I'm going to click on publish over here and it's going to ask me, okay, do you want to save your changes? Yes, I want to save my changes. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to publish my work to my workspace in Power BI service. So I'm going to click on select and you can see I have the same kind of report in Power BI service already. I want to replace it so it's publishing in about 10 to 20 seconds the publishing will be done once it's done i can now go to my browser and access the report also to access the report you need to be signed in also so what do i need to do now uh, in a moment it's going to be done now it's done i can click on open power bi open olympics projects.pbix in power bi so once i click on it you can see now it opens the report directly in Power BI service. So alternatively, what you can do is to just come to app.powerbi.com. It signs in, it signs me in automatically. It may not do that for you. For you to do that, you need to sign in with your credentials. So now what do you need to do? You can just scroll down. You have Olympics projects. You understand? And if I check this place also, I have my project already. So that's basically the same thing. Now, there are a lot of ways you can share your work. First of all, you can share your work with people within your organization. So these people need to have, you need to belong to the same tenant. So you need to have at workemail.com. So for example, in my own now, I can only share with people that have olapisayo.microsoft.com. These are the people that we are in the same organization. I won't be able to share with other people that do not have the same tenant. So that is that. Another thing we need to understand is that you can also generate this Power BI report in PowerPoint or PDF. So you can export it to PDF, export to PowerPoint. But the real catch that I want to show us is how to share our work as a link. And when you come to embed reports, you are going to see publish to web. The moment I click on publish to web, you are going to see what is going to happen. It is telling me that I cannot do that. So which means that I need to activate something to be able to do that. So it is not enabled by default, irrespective of the kind of accounts you have on Power BI. So now I need to click on OK. I'm going to come to the settings over here. I'm going to come to admin portal, tenant settings. I scroll down and I come to publish the web and I'm going to change only allow existing codes to what allow existing and new codes. This solves the problem. I'm going to click on apply and it's telling me tenant changes will be applied within the next 15 minutes, which means that I may not be able to view it directly now. But let us try it one time and um, we can refresh our page and uh, we come to Olympics project. Olympics project. And once I'm there now, I need to come to file, come to embed reports and publish the web. And you can see now I'm able to do it. I'm going to click on create and bit code publish. Now I have something. I have a URL here. So this URL, you can basically copy it and go to another 
web tab, another tab on your browser, and you control V and I click on enter. Now you can see that I have this same report and I can filter the report. I can use the slicer and you can see now that it is interactive as I want it, as I want it. So that is about sharing and you can share with other people too. So this same link, I can copy it, open a private window or um, incognito window as you may have it and you control V and you enter, you can see what? You can still see the same kind of report. So let me close this and I'm going to come back over here. You also have this. Basically, if you work in, if your organization have a website or you have a personal website, you want people to be able to interact with that report on that website. What you can do is this guy is going to be embedded inside your HTML code. So basically, if you are the data analyst or the Power BI developer, you just copy this guy and you are going to give it to your web developer. Or if you are the web developer also, you just use it at appropriate place and everything is going to be fine and we are happy. Now, what you can also do now is what you can also share to a website or portal, but this is the main one that you need to understand. So this guy now, you can just copy it. And use it on your Facebook page, share it with people so that people can click on the link and interact with the weekly reports. Or you share it on your LinkedIn, you share it on your Twitter page. You can even add it to a medium, a blog post, any kind of place you want it to be, you can do. The only but is that you need to understand that if this data is not a public data, which means it is maybe an organization data, it may be a private data of some people, you don't want to publish that kind of work to the web. Because it means anybody with the link, anybody can have access to it, which you don't want. So you need to be ensure you need to ensure that you are within a part a particular privacy right. You are not um, violating any privacy rights when you share a report publicly in a web page. And ladies and gentlemen, that's all. Thank you for listening. I hope you have learned something. Hi guys, thank you for watching to this stage. Kindly support my channel by subscribing. Okay. Do so now. Subscribe. Thank you.